I love catching bass. They strike hard, they jump, and they're a lot of fun to catch, especially on a fly rod. I know that many of you already fish for bass using plastic worms, topwater lures, and hard baits. Well, fly fishing is similar. It's all about figuring out what the bass are feeding on. We use different types of flies to imitate these food sources for bass, then present them as naturally as possible. This can be anything from imitating a frog or a mouse on the surface to flies that replicate bait fish or even crayfish underwater. And some bass flies don't look like anything in particular. They just look good to eat. The key is to get the fly near a bass and make it look like something alive. Most of the time, you can catch bass on subsurface flies, just like with conventional lures. Bass love to eat minnows, shad, even juvenile bass if they can. Baitfish provide a lot of nutrition for a bass, which is critical for their survival. There's a wide variety of conventional lures available that imitate various baitfish based on shape, color, and action. Bass flies are the same. They're also made to replicate the size, color, and relative action of baitfish. The only difference is that the flies are made from feathers, fur, and synthetics, whereas lures are usually made from plastic or wood. The same comparison applies for other food sources for bass, things like crayfish, mice, and frogs. Some people tie their own flies, but you don't need to do that. You can buy already made flies from your local fly shop or online catalog store. You just need a good general selection based on the kind of bass food that's in your area. Now all these flies work very well, but you have to do your part. You have to animate the fly so it looks to the bass like something it wants to eat. Animating and retrieving a bass fly is the fun part of fly fishing for bass because you're making it look natural with your own motions. <laughs> the best way to give action to a bass fly is to keep your rod tip low and give it all the action by stripping the line at various speeds. There's a real tendency when you're bass fishing to twitch the rod tip to give the fly action. And that creates problems. It throws slack into your line. You're gonna miss strikes and you're not gonna be prepared for the next cast. So if you can, it's hard to do, but if you can, try to give that fly action by stripping the line and keeping the rod tip low to the water. You'll really get the same action and you'll always be in control of your fly. When you're fishing with a sinking line, you wanna try all different kinds of retrieves. You can't see the fish. You don't know how they're reacting to the fly. So uh, sometimes you wanna do long, slow strips, just barely crawling that fly along and really long strips so that the fly goes steady. Other times you might wanna give it sharp little wraps or you might wanna really rip the line back in and everything in between. So you've, you've got to experiment. It's usually best to change your retrieve before you change flies. To order WFN, contact your TV service provider today. WFN, it's a great day for fishing.